A recent study shows that one out of every five service staff in this region are doing more harm than good for their companies. That same study also shows that just one in ten are actually working to help improve the company's performance. John Fleming is chief scientist with the Gallup organization. He's written a book titled Human Sigma on how companies and staff can change their approach to better serve customers to help improve the company's bottom line and suit the changing times. A study by Gallup shows that just 9% of employees in the service industry in the region are what Gallup calls engaged, motivated employees interested in helping improve the company's performance. 71% are what Gallup calls disengaged. They show up for work, do their jobs, and little else. 20% are actively disengaged. Actively disengaged employees are the ones who are tearing down the company. They're, they're dismantling all of the good work that your best employees are doing. So visually we found a couple of, of things that really spell that out. Uh, probably the most uh, I engaging one is a picture of a raccoon in the middle of a highway uh, run over by a car. But the maintenance folks for the highway have repainted the stripes on the highway, but they've done so right over the carcass of this poor uh, raccoon. So the question we often ask is, how many of your employees are painting over the raccoon in each and every one of the interactions they have with your customers every day? Multiply the number of interactions by the proportion of, of employees who are disengaged, and suddenly the magnitude of this service quality issue becomes enormous. Fleming says it's more important than ever for frontline staff to be motivated. As companies have moved a lot of their service provisioning, their service uh, uh, channels into remote areas, online services, what we've seen is that the problems, the issues that real live humans have to deal with have become a lot more complicated. Banking inquiry and account related services, press 1. Rate inquiry and branch information inquiry, press 2. Credit card and other services, Press three. Your frontline staff are having to deal with much more difficult issues, with customers who may not interact very often and for whom that single interaction can determine the future of the entire relationship with the company. Fleming also thinks employers need to change their focus when it comes to frontline staff. Unfortunately, in most companies, the customer facing role is among the least respected, the, the lowest paid positions in the company and we tend to bring people in put them in seats if you will and ask them to service our, our customers we may find that somebody has great talent great skill to be a customer service representative but the only career path that they have is out of that role which they're uniquely suited for into a role of supervisor or manager that they may have no talent for at all so our view is that companies would do well to rethink career pathing within roles so that you can keep the very best people doing what they do naturally, but to make a career of it, to be able to earn higher income and greater stature within the company. Another problem is that even while companies strive to deliver good service, he says too often it's standardized, with all employees trained to do things the same way and say the same things, like welcome when a customer enters or have a nice day. What we found is that customers very quickly latch on to the fact that that's not sincere, it's not genuine, it's, it's a rote behavior. Uh, our perspective is that while employees often need guidelines to define service standards, which differ obviously from company to company, uh, the challenge for us as managers is to unleash the natural potential that our staff has to execute on their own. And for a lot of managers, that's terrifying. The idea that you have to let your staff do what they do naturally. That can be facilitated by making sure that you hire the right people at the outset, that you put them in the right jobs for their talents. Fleming says that companies that successfully manage their staff, who in turn engage their customers, reap the benefits. Those kinds of high engagement companies tend to grow their earnings at a market level at roughly two and a half times the rate of companies that don't engage their staff. Engaged employees help create engaged customers which ultimately drives performance.